Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Java programming tutorial video. So in the last video I said I would talk about if, else if, and else statements in this video, but instead I decided to talk about logical and conditional operators in Java because they are necessary to learn before if, else if, and else statements. So there are three logical operators that we use very often and two conditional operators in Java. Okay? So the first logical operator is called and, and it is represented by a and symbol that's right above your 7 key on your keyboard. And the next one is the or operator, and is represented by this vertical line that's right above your uh, backslash on your keyboard. And the next one we have is the not operator and it's represented by a exclamation mark okay so I'm gonna explain these three before I int introduce you to conditional operators so the and operator it returns true if the boolean statements on both sides of it return true so basically if you have true and true it will return true. Okay, so and of course don't do this. D don't don't do don't do this right here, and you'll probably never do this in any case. This will be replaced by some kind of boolean statement like one equals one, or some or a boolean variable that you said like I don't know is sitting, something like that. But this is just to show you what it actually does. So only this case would return true. In um, with the and operator, in the and operator. So any other case like true false or false true or false false would all return false. Okay, and an or operator. So it's very similar to an and operator, but it actually returns true as long as one of the statements is true. So like something like true or false would return true. And um, the only statement that's going to return false is false or false. This, this is the only statement using the OR operator that would return false. Okay, and the next up is the NOT operator. So the NOT operator is a bit different from the first two. So it actually, you actually only have one statement after the NOT operator. And for example, you say not true, it will return false. So it basically returns the opposite of the statement that you pass in after the not operator. So let's say you have not, um, let's say you have a variable called sitting, uh, is sitting, is sitting. And you say not sitting, it will return false. Oh, actually. If you say is sitting is true, then not is sitting, uh, not is sitting will of course return false, um, which basically means standing, right? Uh, so that's what you might use the not statement for. Um, so yeah, those are the logical operators, and we're going to talk about the conditional operators. So. The first one, so actually these conditional operators are very similar to the first two logical operators that we talked about. So the first conditional operator is called conditional and. Okay? And it's represented by two and symbols. Actually wait, let me make sure that it's actually called conditional and. So yeah, I was right. It is actually called the conditional AND operator, and it is represented by two AND symbols. That's true. So what this does, it does the exact same thing as the logical operators, except let's say we have the same thing, true and, uh, not true, AND AND, false, uh, true, right? This would return true, no matter if you no matter if you use the two and or one and. 
Um, but when you have, when you're using two hands, uh, if uh, if the first statement returns false, it would automatic automatically return false without evaluating uh, evaluating the second statement. So in in some cases, this this is actually more efficient than logical and. Okay. Um, and the conditional um, or is actually very similar, and is is it is also represented by two um, vertical lines. And what that what this does is that it actually um, does the exact same thing as the logical or, except that if the first one returns true it would automatically return true because it meets the requirements for an OR operator, right? Um, and so it doesn't need to evaluate the second the second statement anymore. So it just skips it and returns true, right? And this is the same thing. Oh wait, did I say true? False, right? It would return, so this one, it would return false if the first one evaluates it, it, it's to false because it doesn't need to evaluate the second one anymore and it's the same thing with the conditional or so yeah that's it for the logical and conditional operators so uh, I'll see you in the next video and make sure to like and subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you next time